Hey everyone, I'm gonna be filming a book haul. I know that I haven't filmed a book haul in a while, but as I say always, I need to get these books off of these piles. I don't know really what the future of these book hauls holds. For me, I've definitely stopped buying as many books, and so I'm not really sure how I'll do these or if I'm gonna do like ARC hauls, you know, like electronic books that I'm reading, like electronic ARCs that I'm reading. So if you want to see that, please let me know below. I read most of my books. Uh, on my Kindle and electronic as ARCs, so maybe that would be interesting to people. Um, I'm always kind of intrigued about that. So these are my physical book haul and I will get them out of the packaging for you and then I will see you in a second. All right, here they are in all of their glory. Here we go. As you can see, it's a small pile uh, this month. Um, I want to, let's just go from the top down because that's super easy. So let me just start off with these two books that Penguin Random House sent me. These are them. I've never read a book by Ocean Vuong before and I'm super intrigued. I have heard a lot about, oh, I, now the name is escaping me. I've heard a lot about these other books, maybe it will say. On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. That's the one I wanted to read. But now that I have an arc of this one, I'm kind of like, well, I should probably read this one, right? I'm really excited for this one. I don't read poetry that much, but I always really like poetry when I can uh, find one, like a collection that I'm intrigued by. So definitely going to read this one and I will keep you posted on my thoughts. The next one is All My Rage by Saba Tahir. I have read Saba's um, fantasy series, so the uh, Ember and the Ashes Quartet. I'm really intrigued by this contemporary debut. I really enjoyed Tahara Mafi's contemporary debut, so I hope that it will be kind of the same thing. Uh, and then I'll also enjoy this contemporary debut. I actually have this arc, but in the meantime, I had actually downloaded the electronic audio listening copy, ALC, I'm not really sure what it stands for, advanced listening copy? probably advanced um of all my rage so i'll be able to kind of switch between audiobook and physical ones which i don't get to do often but i really enjoy it because i like to listen to the audiobook when i'm kind of like doing tasks around the house cleaning walking um and so i really love though snuggling at the end of the day with a physical book so i'll be able to switch back and forth and that will be amazing i'm excited for that one the next one is actually a book that someone must have bought me off my wish list, but it didn't include a gift note. So if this is you, please let me know because I'm really excited and also thank you uh, for the House of Binding Thorns. This is the sequel to um, House of Shattered Wings. Is this already the trilogy? This is the second book. So I have the first one and I really wanted to read the series. So I'm glad that I have number one and two. Cannot keep getting copies of the series until I finally like start on this one, but I'm very excited because I've heard a lot about Aliette de Baudard, and I felt like I've read some of um, this author's other works. I think Fireheart Tiger, so I'm excited for this one. It is a little bit like, I, I do find it interesting when um, companies or publishers will kind of change the finishing slash details for this one, because I'm pretty sure House of Shattered Wings had foil on it. I was kind of wondering if this was going to be like a silver foil, but it's not. It is this matte cover. I actually really like matte covers. Maybe I'm in the majority, or no, minority there, but I'm excited for this one, so thank you, mystery gift giver. The next one is my March Illumicrate, which is a Gallant by V.E. Schwab. This edition is really gorgeous because it has these really stunning sprayed edges. Um, this is also an exclusive cover. Um, it has these end papers. And I think it has something, yes, it has something on the um, case stamp. That's what it's called. I've, I've, I figured it out, case stamp. Um, so for Gallant, I felt like for Gallant, because I'd read an arc before this, I felt like in Gallant, the first 50% were very slow. It was an extremely slow burn, uh, in general, just a very slow burn, and I think the first 50% extremely so. So I really love like the details on this one. I just realized I wanted to show you all of that. But um, if I had like, I don't think if I had seen this on like a resale site, I would do it just because of the actual content of the book. I really enjoyed it still, but I do think that it was very slow. I'll try to link my TikTok review for Gallant uh, down below. Also, I enjoyed the sprayed edges has to be my favorite element of this entire edition. 
but I felt like this was a really, and I, I have read this one, and I have read it when I saw this one, so I understand all the elements of this cover and why they're important, and I do like that it keeps this motif of this of this double house, but I am a little bit underwhelmed, I feel like. I, I don't know, maybe it's because I also, I'm not like over the moon uh, in love with this book, but yeah, I just, I um, really kind of like, versus the US or the UK, I think the UK one is my favorite one, uh, my favorite cover, and so I'm just, I expected a little bit different, I guess, in my mind. So overall, I still enjoyed it, but those are my thoughts on this uh, Illuminate edition of Gallant. The next one is that I received um, a UK proof or UK arc, so thank you Orbit, uh, for the Stardust Thief. I've been making my way through. I took out the bookmark for the sake of filming because I didn't want it to fall out anyway, but I'm almost done with it and I really like it so far. So if you were thinking about picking it up or pre-ordering it or maybe uh, looking at your upcoming subscription boxes, uh, then definitely like definitely keep them because I really ended up liking it so far, so far. Um, it's really long, it's about 400 or so pages, 450, I don't know if that's really long for me. I don't think that's super long, but anyway. Um, and I'm very excited to finish this one, thank you Orbit, and yeah, I will let you know what I think when I'm done with it. The next one is I was able to track down a fairy loot edition of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with Axie O. Like, I have loved Axie's books since Rebel Soul and Rogue Heart and like XOXO. I've loved them all and so The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea was no exception. I actually have my signed um, copy, like independent bookstore one from the US. Uh, signed by Axie, but when I saw this fairy loot edition, I had to. First of all, I love like woodcut kind of stylistic covers, and so I knew already the UK cover was going to be so gorgeous. But then I saw the kind of warm, like take that the the fairy loot did on this cover, and I love it so so much. It is gorgeous. The sprayed edges are just like ah, oh, they're so beautiful. Um, also. This one features these stunning end papers, like they're just so gorgeous. Everything about this is gorgeous. And then this case stamp, maybe like that you can see it. It's a little bit metallic and then the spine. Oh, this edition, hands down my favorite of this whole haul. It is just so stunning. I love the attention to detail and I also love how it is different but not in a way that becomes unrecognizable and also a meaningful and just absolutely the stunning, stunning way. And the final one is my Illumicrate copy of the Atlas 6. Um, it's been very difficult to try to photograph this holographic. So maybe you can see it there. I'm checking the viewfinder. Um, the holographic cover, I really enjoy. The sprayed edges, honestly, was the number one reason why I wanted this copy of the Atlas 6 versus any other copy I've seen so far. I just love this attention to detail and also it makes sense with the cover as well. In general, I don't know how I feel about the holographic. I think it's cool for sure. Um, and it, I've never seen it on a book before ever. If you have, please let me know below because I'm very intrigued by that. But um, I do feel like the sprayed edges, that's what got me. Okay, so in general, I'm pretty happy with this. I definitely like it a lot more than the Illumicrit Gallant because I think that this is super unique. I I um, love innovative ideas from book boxes in terms of book uh, customizations. So I really, really appreciate the thought put into the holographic this. Uh, and also these like digitally, I think they're digitally sprayed edges are just absolutely stunning. I also uh, this is signed by the author, so that's cool. And I'm also obsessed with these character art end papers. I just feel like the style is something that I never would have thought that I would love so much. But then when I was looking at it and photographing it, and I was like, wow, it just kind of makes sense for the characters. And it also has a holographic case stamp. I was going to say desk stamp. Case stamp. So all in all, I think it's just such a brilliantly put together special edition. I think all of the things are really in line with each other, all the special effects and all the special 
attention to detail that just really merged well in this Atlas 6. And so it's stunning. I The only reason why I don't think I love this more than The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea was because I enjoyed the Atlas 6 a lot, but I definitely feel like I had different expectations going into it than I did when I read it. I will try to link the TikTok review uh, down below, which ended up going, I mean, not viral for like viral sakes, but viral for my account sakes. I think like 8,000 people have seen it. So that's like, whoa, on TikTok. I think I have like 1,000 or so followers. So, you know, that scale is pretty epic. Um, but I just felt like the, I was thinking it was gonna be more kind of magical competition straight off of the get-go and that's not really what it was. It was basically very character-driven, multiple perspective and I ended up really enjoying it and by the end I'm total, was like totally hooked. I cannot wait for the second one. I hope Illumicrate does a really stunning, um, also holographic edition of The Atlas Paradox. But uh, yeah, in general, I felt like this book, I really enjoyed a solid four stars for sure, but The Girl fell, Who Fell Beneath the Sea is definitely a solid five stars. So that's why that one, you know, but anyway, I will put them next to each other because these are my two most gorgeous special editions uh, from this haul. Like, they're just absolutely stunning. They, I just, I can't. My, my bookshelf in the last couple of years is getting increasingly gorgeous. And I am not mad about that. All these special editions. I, if, I feel like I should film a video later about how I kind of feel about special editions in general. Because I have definitely interesting-ish different thoughts. Um, about the special edition book market, I guess, especially now that you are seeing like multiple book boxes doing special editions of a book uh, and like resale value and collectibil like collectability, I guess. Anyway, this was my most recent haul. I'm very excited now to like put these books on my shelf. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed it. As I said, let me know um, if you've seen any holographic books as well. And also if you're a fan of these books that I haven't read, that would be super helpful to kind of give me a push to read it. And yeah, I hope that you have a really great reading day, week, month, year. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.